All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green uh, back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Going to be talking about this guy today, Mr. Dean, Mr. Vaping Biker. We love Dean. We love Dean the Vaping Biker because he's just a fantastic guy. And he teamed up with Dovpo to release this Bassium squonker box and i don't i'm 100 percent sure i'm not saying that correctly bassium yeah bassium what is do we know what bassium means hang on i need to google <gasps> wait does bassium really mean kiss that's the only thing i could find online in fact when i search google for bassium it really just brings up this particular mod it doesn't bring up like the actual definition the only definition i could find is kiss so that's that's sweet. Vaping biker just wants to kiss everybody. But anyway, this is a this is a dual uh, dual eighteen six fifty regulated uh, squonk box. And when I say box, I mean box. It's very much a box. It's it's a cube. It's like holding a cube. And when I first got this, I couldn't really find a way comfortably to grab it to hold it i was trying to grip it you know there's a lot of mods out there that you just you just grip in your hand like this you grip it and you kind of expect the fire button to be there or you grip it like this and you kind of expect the fire button to be in a certain place and this is set up a little bit peculiar 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 peculiarly peculiarly peculiar peculiarly it's a little bit peculiar and what i've discovered after using it and using it and using it and using it is this isn't the type of mod that you grip it's not like a put it in your hand and, and grip it like this mod I use this mod very much like I use like that USV arc mod I kind of use my fingertips I kind of put the back against my fingertips right here and then hit the button with my thumb right there and it kind of it kind of falls into place a little bit my fingers will kind of curve around the back here and I'm hold it like this and I can hit the button with my thumb like this and if you you hold it like this it's actually a very comfortable mod if you try to grip it if you try to find a way to grip it like this you might be hard-pressed to find like a comfortable way to hold it in your hand but just lightly like put it in your hand like this like put the screen up and put it in your hand like this and just hit the button with your thumb it's very comfortable to hold that way They've been real nice, giving me plenty of power. I have this set into variable voltage mode. This is a low, I don't want to say low bells and whistles, but there's not a lot of bells and whistles on this. There's no temperature control. There's no custom TCR settings. There's no curve settings on it. This is a straight wattage, straight voltage mod, which couldn't be more perfect for me for the way that i like to vape i just love straight wattage and i just love straight voltage and i like seeing variable voltage coming back i like being able to adjust my volts i just find it a much more uh i don't know pleasurable easy way to vape i can look down at my resistance here and go okay it's a 0.16 i want to vape this at 3.5 volts and i just set the voltage to 3.5 volts and it delivers that 3.5 0.5 volts very consistently every single time and when you hold it like this against your against your fingers and you have your thumb right here it kind of becomes a little bit of a one-handed operation like you have access to your squonk bottle right here and you have access to your button right here and you can just squonk release hit it with your finger or you know hit it with your thumb and vape it it's it's basically a one-handed operation It says on the website that it's made out of a zinc alloy. The chassis might be zinc alloy, but I believe this... Whoops, I almost just dropped it. Maybe we should drop it. Maybe we'll give it a drop on the carpet test. That's not really going to actually prove much of anything, though. Sorry, I was saying that on the website, it says it's made out of... It's constructed out of a zinc alloy, and the chassis on the inside might be a zinc alloy, but I believe this to be anodized aluminum on the outside. It doesn't feel like a pure zinc mod, although it carries the heft of like a zinc mod. Zinc is just uh, denser and it feels it feels a little bit more weighty and 
when you get batteries in this, it, it feels weighty. It honestly reminds me of like when I first got that very first DNA 200 triple 18650 Relo mod. Kind of has that like basically just a paperweight feel to it. It just it just feels real heavy. And unfortunately, because of the way that this is shaped, because of this cubular shape right here, cubular, yeah, that's not a word, but because of this cube shape, it's kind of, uh, it's not super pocket friendly. Yeah, I don't know, maybe a little bit, you like that? Or even in your front pocket, I guess. I don't know, it just is, is real bulgy and big and it's not, you know, it, it's not super pocket Pocket friendly. The display on it isn't some sort of, uh, you know, revolutionary display. It looks like an LCD display, but it is very crisp. It's very bright. It's got two battery level indicators on it, so you can see, you know, your battery levels independently of each other, and it shows you everything you need to know. It's going to show you your voltage. It's going to show you your wattage, regardless of what mode you're in, and it's going to show you your amps and your resistance. So you have a big clicky fire button right here, and you got some clicky up and down buttons as well. And right now I have this in very variable voltage mode but if you want to switch it to variable wattage mode you hit the power button and the and the you know the down button right here just like that and now you're in wattage mode and if you want to go back to voltage mode which I do you press it again Boop, and now we're back in uh, now we're back in voltage mode. You have a pretty big corner cutout here for the squonk bottle. I've had no issues, uh, you know, getting to it, accessing it, squonking it. If you are a female and you have like those long, you know, talon style nails, uh, you might run into a little bit of an issue, maybe getting into that squonk bottle. You might have to actually press it with your nail. And the squonk bottle itself is kind of in its own little sled here. There's a little, you can see this little. Little notch right here and you pull this out and boom there's your squonk bottle sitting in its own little plastic sled and I've actually found this uh, really easy to refill with uh, chubby gorilla 60 mil bottles you can put the tip of the chubby gorilla bottle right into that little hole allow me to demonstrate so I just put the tip of the bottle like that and then I flip it upside down and I squeeze the air out of it and then when I flip it back I'll let go of this and I'll give the bottle a little squeeze the chubby gorilla bottle Bottle, a little bit of a squeeze and that'll fill back up with juice just like that and now yeah you kind of have a full bottle again and you can repeat that again if you want it even fuller squeeze the air out spin it back around squeeze that chubby gorilla bottle just fill that little squonk bottle right up boom and this can only go back in one way there's a little rounded portion of it and it just boom slides right back in beautifully that li that little sled for the bottle works astonishingly well and yeah just just plenty of power plenty of battery life it's a dual battery mod dual 18650s i love that there's no lag or delay when you hit the button it feels very quick and responsive you press the button you get power right away i've got it topped right now with that uh wake mod co little foot i think they're calling it the little foot rda it's the wake mod co new mod co wake mod co rda and it's a 24 millimeter diameter fits on there just uh, i mean just perfectly this fits up to a 25 millimeter atomizer. I was walking rock what? I was rocking my recoil rebel on here as well, which is a 25 millimeter atomizer, and it comes right to the edge with no overhang. And then you have this battery door that's spring loaded on the bottom. It's very, well, there's that battery. It's kind of a very standard issue design, I guess. It's not exactly spring loaded, but it pops open when you need it to. And it's pretty clearly marked here on the bottom, positive and negative. So you want, you know, your positive right there. You want your negative right there. You can boop, just like that. This isn't a new revolutionary design. It's the same battery door that a lot of mods have been using for years now, but it works and it holds the batteries in. I do really like the feel of this. I like that anodized aluminum feeling. I just wish it wasn't so boxy. It's just, it's just real boxy. If that's something that bothers you, then it's something that's going to bother you and it's boxy and it kind of bothers me. I wish it were a little bit more ergonomic. Economic. But I feel like overall for this quality of a mod, that's really like a minor gripe because there are really comfortable ways to hold this.
So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands for this vaping biker Dovpo Bassium Squonk Box. Eh, not really, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from like $65 to $80. $80 being the most expensive that I saw it for. It comes in at under $100. So, you know, you're still gonna need your vape budget hands, but at least it's not like $120, $130, $140 box mod. And for the price, you're getting a pretty rockin' squonker. It is durable. It feels hefty, feels substantial in the hand. Like I said before, it's got those it's got those real clicky buttons that I'm just a real big fan of, and I got to thank Dean Vaping Biker for making this just a wattage voltage mod. That's all I need in my life, and I like having just a straight wattage, straight voltage, just straight forward, simple, here's your volts, here's what you vape mod. Now, here we go. If we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game, which Kent did not understand the purpose of this exercise. But if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have no vape gear, I have nothing left to vape, is the Dovpo Bassium something I would seek out and buy and over squonk and get juice on the side? Yeah. Under a hundred bucks, dual 18650 regulated squonker with wattage mode and voltage mode. It kind of almost seems like a no brainer. This is something I think I would want in my arsenal. I've just enjoyed using it so much. It's just, it's just so damn reliable. And I really like that sled bottle, you know, uh, system right there. And I like being able to fill it right through that little hole right there with my chubby gorillas and not having to fiddle with taking this bottle out and like pulling the straw off of the little tube and then unscrewing it and then filling it up and then putting it back together and then putting the little straw back on the tube and then putting it back in the sled and then putting it back in the mod. And with the exception of the slightly unergonomic design of this, it really offers me everything, everything I would want in a squonker. But yeah, that's what I got for today. It is what it is. Vaping Biker Dovpo. It's the Bassium Squonker. And it's just a it's just a big, just a big old cube. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.